Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why Standard is kind of lame or why uh, there was a recent Twitter from Wizards of the Coast, Sam I believe it was his name, he sent a tweet saying, hi guys, do you like Standard? A lot of people said they did not like Standard. Uh, Sam of course being a Wizard Coast employee then said, oh everyone loves Standard, they said it's amazing, uh, taking not, you know, taking a very biased look at it. That's the attitude why I feel like Standard is so bad, is you have a format which is not great and you're pretending it is, there's no problem. It's just like you're in a burning house and you keep saying, we are fine, there is no problems here, we are fine, when in fact you don't address the problems. Number one, the promos are very bad. The promos have been bad for a long period of time. I don't really accept the argument that they don't know what the cards, what cards will be good. They have something called Future League, and in Future League, if you look at the deck list, all the cards that are good in Future League are good in Standard. Uh, secondly, promos are meant as a add-on. They're meant as something really cool, like the show, uh, showdown promos uh, packs. Those were a very good concept. I don't see why they cannot continue to do it because they've done it in the past and it doesn't really cost them any more money. It costs them the cardboard to print it on, which they can make from pizza boxes, right? I'm sure they have lots of pizza boxes they can use at Wizards of the Coast to make magic cards. That's so better promos. Secondly, it is winter time. You need to encourage the players to go uh, support their local game store, to go outside, sometimes in the cold, the winter weather, can, in Houston it's 70 degrees today. When I made this video, it literally is 70 degrees right now at nighttime. But up north, when I lived in Pennsylvania and New York, I would only go to f and if I knew there was a good reason and there would, the turnout would be good. So the turnout has to be good for the, it, it's kind of a, Chicken or egg? How do you get more people to go? Well, have a lot of people there. And you need to create, you need to highlight um, positive people. You need to give, I like the booster packs, the showdown booster packs, how they were giving it to uh, just the most creative decks, not necessarily the people who win all the time, because a lot of times they are not friendly uh, to new players, especially, but to people who just started, I feel like that's the way to do it. Give the prize support to creative deck builders as well as newer players. Standard is very strange right now. Uh, the top decks are not fun to play with and they're not fun to play against. In my opinion, those are the reasons. Uh, the, the main reason is amplified by that Sam guy who asked a question that he already knew the answer to and then he repeated the answer to the question Although, you know, the response was completely opposite. They need to get better at listening to feedback. Feedback is in incredibly important when you are a business based on customer, when a customer, when your product is not inherently valuable, because it's a piece of cardboard, but your customer is the one who makes the product valuable through demand, supply and demand. So I, w I do wish Wizard of the Coast would listen more, better promos, you know, get people out, more of those booster packs for everyone, more of those buy a box packs for everyone, and if you have 15 people that you know or at your locals that you generally like, you are, are more likely to travel out to that locals that night than if you don't know if anyone's going to be there, right? Or if there's going to be like two people there, or God forbid, they are playing a different card game altogether, Friday Night Magic. F and M at my, uh, my one of my locals has become Force of Whale Night. That to me is just really unacceptable. Anyway, bye guys.